simple bit of tackle that I'm really fond of are the Ronnie clips and tungsten sleeves. The vast majority of my fishing is done with pop-ups and that's where this little setup is most useful. The Ronnie rig's clearly got a lot going for it, but one of the main aspects is being able to change the hook without having to change the rig itself. Now, there's no right or wrong way to do it, and it's a matter of personal preference, but there's a few ways in which you can change the hook section of the rig. Some people, after catching a fish, remove the shrink tube or liner liner, attach a new hook, then add shrink tube or liner liner, hook ring, hook stop, and then steam it if required. Now there's nothing wrong with this, but it can be a little bit fiddly and time consuming, especially if you're really trying to get a rig back out on the spot, or you've done your hook point and need to quickly change it over. I've always wanted to have the least amount of tackle to prepare on the bank as possible, so I try and do everything in advance at home. So in this case with the Ronnie rig, I try and have as many of these quick change Ronnie booms tied up as possible, and obviously the Ronnie sections as well. I far prefer to knock out a pack of hooks worth of Ronnie rigs in one go on a lazy Sunday. And like anything, when you do it in one big batch, you get a bit more momentum and it's a lot easier. So onto the boom section. I prefer a fairly stiff material boom. We all know the benefits. They minimise tangles in the cast. They reset well after a fish have been in your swim or picked you up and spat you out. And they generally keep the rig away from the lead. I prefer to use the tungsten loaded extra stiff. As the name implies, it isn't as graceful as the semi-stiff or soft versions, but it provides that all-important purpose in pop-up fishing, kicking the bait away from the lead. You can use the softer materials or fluorocarbon as your boom material too. To make a quick change Ronnie boom, I start by tying the Ronnie clip to the end of the hook length. I then cut off the hook length at about eight to 10 inches, depending on how long you want the rig. And using a baiting or splicing needle, I feed on the tungsten sleeve that comes in the pack. I then tie an overhand loop in the end, which is how I attach the lead clip. Next up, but not essential by any means, is to take a section of 1.6mm shrink tube. You only need a little bit of this, so it often works with leftover bits which are no good for hooks. I use it to cover the knot and the little tag end of the loop. It just makes everything a bit more streamlined, less prone to tangles, and mates who are good anglers have always done it. Last of all, I thread on a streamliner rig sleeve and then steam. The soft and semi-stiff tungsten loaded, you can straighten with just your hands, but with the extra stiff, it's best to steam it. What you're left with is a really high quality boom section with a gated latch on the end underneath the weighted sleeve. And this is the part that allows you to change the Ronnie rig pretty much instantly. For me, this is definitely the quickest way to deal with Ronnie rigs, and it allows more time to watch the water and less time tinkering around with new rigs. There are two sizes of sleeve, small and large, and they act as the counterbalance to your pop-up instead of putty. There's a wide range of rig components that will affect the weight, as well as plenty of pop-ups out there with different buoyancy, so you need to experiment to see what balances out right for you. As a rough guide, the 0.3 gram smaller Ronnie clip is for 12 to 14 mil pop-ups, and the 0.6 larger is for 15 to 16 mil pop-ups. I use the smallest tungsten sleeve, and I find that balances out absolutely perfectly with the largest or second largest artificial boilie. They complement each other perfectly. These boom sections stay on the rods all of the time, with the old rigs in the rings when I pack the rods away, and when I start a new session, I just quickly swap them out for some new ones. These boom sections are tough as old boots. The semi-stiff and the soft tungsten loaded seem to last forever. The extra stiff is a little bit more brittle on the coating because it's stiffer, but it will still last you ages and certainly more than one rig of fish. I've caught plenty of fish on the same boom sections from really challenging, inhospitable pits, and only every now and then do you get one which gets damaged. All in all, the quick change Ronnie booms caught me tons of fish. Only every now and then do I need to change them and they're definitely the quickest way to change your Ronnie sections. They're not just for Ronnies as well though, they work for stiff hinge rigs and any other rig where it's got a swivel mount. They're easy to tie yourself and to put into a little pouch in your tackle bag, but we've also got some pre-tied ones coming down the line as well.